All right, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Foxwell battery checker. So we're going to check three batteries, actually. we got one good battery, one bad battery, and then we're going to check the battery out in the car. And it doesn't just check the battery, it also checks your charging system, your alternator, and it'll tell you if it's good, bad, or if your battery is good or bad, or will need replaced in a short period of time. So it's really simple and easy to use, and all you need is a battery. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your negative and connect it to the negative side. And then when you connect it to the positive side, it's gonna tell you the voltage that is uh, coming out of the battery. I'm sitting at 12.64 right now. This is actually a boat battery that has not been installed uh, for several months. Uh, next thing we wanna do is just gonna push our enter here. And uh, this is going to be the test that we're gonna run either on a 12 volt or 24 volt, 24 volt system, or obviously on a 12 volt battery. It is uh, it's gonna be a regular test and it, the v battery is out of the vehicle. It is a top post battery. It is a regular battery. It'll also test an AGM or a gel battery. Uh, this is going to be my cold cranking amps. Cold cranking amps are found on the sticker on top of your battery, and that's going to be on top of every battery. And so uh, when we select our cold cranking amps, we set it at 600 cold cranking amps, and then we press enter. It runs the test, and it's going to tell you the state of the battery. So this is telling me it's a good battery, 12.64 volts, 665 measured cold cranking amps. It's rated at 600 cold cranking amps, so this is an excellent battery. We know that this is a good battery, and I also know that this is a bad battery. This was a battery that was in my camper, and uh, we replaced it last summer. So we're gonna go ahead and test this as well. I'm gonna put the negative on first, and then my positive, and it doesn't even have enough juice to turn it on, so this is a bad battery. I tried to charge it up, but it won't even accept a charge, so. Uh, that's no good there. We're gonna go out to the vehicle. Okay, and, so uh, this test is gonna be just a little bit different because the battery is in the vehicle, which means it's going to do a battery check, it's gonna do a cranking check, it's also going to do uh, a, a charging system check. So we're gonna go ahead and get this connected here, and uh, we're just gonna walk through the prompts on the screen. Okay, so it pops up at 12.9 volts, which is, uh, which is perfect. So we're gonna hit enter, we're gonna walk through these steps again, 12 volt system, uh, we're going to do a regular test, and it is in the vehicle, top post, it is a regular battery, cold cranking amps. Now this one has two different cold cranking amps. It is 550 cold cranking amps at zero degrees, or 650 at 32 degrees. Now because we are right in between those two temperatures right now, we're going to go ahead and drop this down to 550, and now it's doing the test. And the result is a good battery, volts 12.92, measured 594 cold cranking amps, at, and it was rated at 550. So now it is telling me to uh, start the engine, and we're going to do a uh, we're going to do a cranking test. It cranks normal, putting out 10.93 volts in a time of one second. Now we're going to do a charging test. We're just going to press the enter button. Checking the alternator output. Rev the engine, give us some gas. Okay, now we let it idle back down. Turn on your high beams. Turn the heat on high. Enter at idle. Okay, give us some gas now. Turn everything off and then shut the engine down. Okay, now we're gonna see the final test here, final results. Charging system, no problems. No load, we get 14.2 volts. Loaded, we get 14.5 volts. So we've done a full test here of the battery and the charging system, the alternator. Everything is running good. Okay, so you can see how simple and easy it is to check your battery, to check your alternator, to check your charging system, all with just a matter of uh, connecting a couple of alligator clips to the negative and positive posts of your battery terminals. Now, uh, checking the battery in the vehicle, of course, is gonna take two people. But, I mean, it's just a couple of minutes to do that and you get accurate results. No problem. We've discovered no problems with our vehicle. We didn't anticipate any problems with our vehicle. 
But if there was a problem with the charging system or if we had a battery that was going bad, this would definitely detect it and would let us know. Now they sent this to me so that I could show it to you. Given the information that you have received today, you are well educated and can now make the decision as to whether or not you need one of these in your shop.